Good morning students, I am Pavan, your science master. In this video, I am going to talk to 6th standard students. Students, we have completed 4 chapters explanation and we have entered already, we have entered into the 5th chapter, that's materials and things chapter. Students, in this chapter, I have given you some part of the explanation, the lesson which starts with a story, you know. That story uh, is like this, you know, Mary, uh, one who is a girl studying in her room and suddenly she heard a loud noise from the kitchen. When she rushes into the kitchen, she observes that a cat runs away through the window. Some of the things, they remain in the shelves of the kitchen in the same places. Uh, some of the things get broken and some things uh, like some grains from the containers uh, get scattered on the floor, okay. So like this, she observes all the things in the kitchen and she gets surprised, you know, she gets, you know, uh, she gets some questions in her mind. Uh, what sort of questions uh, she gets in her mind? The questions like, you know, some of the things are broken, why some of the things are not broken and why, what, what is the reason for that? She gets some questions in her mind and in that context, um, we need to understand the things are made up of different materials, okay? We have to understand that the things are made up of different materials, okay? What is the name of the lesson? materials and things. Let us start understanding from the name of the chapter first of all. Materials and things. What is the name of the chapter students? Materials and things. Materials and things. Students, here I wanted to make an independent video which relates only to this concept or only to this chapter, okay? Only to this chapter because if I do uh, various, you know, more number of videos on the same content, uh, I understand that most of you are not continually watching the videos, okay? I wanted to make a complete independent video which uh, explains you about only this chapter, materials and things. As much as possible, I will try to complete the lesson in the same video students, okay? You please try to understand. And here, let's start the lesson. Yes, materials and things. Students, things are of various things present around us. We see different types of things, okay? What? Different types of things, different types of things we see around us. See, for example, this is a thing, this is a thing, the table is thing, the board is thing, this pen, marker pen is also a thing, the cloth is also a thing, the cloth that I wear also thing, you know, the camera phone is also a thing. But how do all of these things get that kind of shape? And what is that use, what is that Mm, you know something what is that used to make these things that's material you know different things are made by different what materials okay students here materials 
here you try to focus on these terms materials and things this is the name of the chapter okay here the things are made up of different materials here and we have to do some of the activities like you know you have to make a list of the things first you have to make a list of the things first then you have to write the material used to make these things okay a table will be displayed on the screen you can see there a table will be displayed on the screen you can see and you try to understand what material is used to make that kind of thing you take chair you take table you take a door you take your clothes you take the floor or the house walls etc the things in your kitchen you know what are the things present in kitchen different types of utensils okay like plates spoons glasses bowls dishes etc and even some other things that are edible things like you know uh, some of the food grains that we eat you know edible things also present you know edible things some are natural you don't make i don't make the for example you take the food grains you don't make them right we get them from natural resources like plants okay but some of the things are man made things there no the things are made by using different materials okay the materials are of you take um, metal materials or non metal materials the materials can be classified into two groups metal materials and non metal materials of course you can think of what all the things made of metals in your house what are the things present in your house that are made by metal materials and other things like you know chairs uh like you know plastic chair you take and the clothes you take okay these are the things that are made of non metal materials okay here materials are of two types metal materials and non metal materials okay here basically we have to understand what are the materials we have to understand what are the materials present okay next in the first activity what you have to do is finding the objects you know things or objects things or objects we have to find the objects which are made up of different materials okay the table will be displayed on the screen you can try to understand and next uh what or <clears throat> next one is what are the materials used to make different things here the objects made of different materials and materials used to different objects okay here you have to write name of the material and you have to write the name of the object made by this material okay this type of activities you have to do there you have to write the names of the objects here and the material used to make that object okay material used to make this object here in this activity you have to write write the names of the materials and then the name of the object made by this type of material okay like this you have to do the activity the table will be displayed on the screen students you try to understand how to do that activity okay yes students you can see the table 2 
uh, which is related to that first activity that I explained just before. Here you have to make a list of the objects first, then you have to write the name of the material used to make the object. You see that what are the objects names given in that column? Door, towel, bicycle, knife, mirror, shoes, water bottle, pot, etc. See here what are the materials used to make these objects. Okay, first example is given you can see there door. Door is made up of wood, metal, rubber, etc. You know, doors are made using this type of material students. Next, you can see there and towel. A towel is made up of what? Cotton or a polyester cloth. You know, it's a cloth material. Cloth, you know, that may be cotton, that may be polyester, that may be other things, you know, other materials. Next, bicycle you take. Bicycle, what are the parts of the bicycle? You can observe bicycle and you can understand what material is used to make that bicycle. You know, you take seat, you take uh, tire, you take tube, you take rim, you take wheels, wheels of the bicycle. Some metal material is used and some rubber material is used, some, you know, uh, you know, uh, plastic material is also used to make bicycle, a beautiful bicycle, right? And next if you take knife, the handle of the knife, if you see that uh, handle is made up of plastic and then the knife that which is sharp that's made up of metal you know i am saying the names of the material students that you remember next if you take mirror mirror is a thing or object which is made up of glass next shoes shoes also thing that which is made up of leather leather material you know and rubber plastic so different materials are used to make shoes next water bottle obviously we can say most of us carry water in a bottle right the bottle is made up of plastic yes pot you take steel pots there and clay pots also there clay pots it's clay it's clay pot is made up of clay clay it's a material you know and steel pot it's also a material steel is a material metal material right clay is non metal material that you have to understand like this you have to understand what are the materials used to make all of these objects next let's consider the next or uh, uh, next table and what are the materials and the objects made by that materials okay let me read the names of the materials here. Metal, plastic, glass, wood, cotton, leather, ceramic, rock, etc. And what all the things made up of these materials? Utensils, bags, mirror, table, cloth, shoe, cup, idols. Okay students, here utensils are made up of metal. Bags made up of plastic, mirror made up of glass, table made up of wood, cloth made up of cotton, shoes made up of leather, cup made up of ceramic, idol made up of rock. You know, not only these things students or objects students, you have to extend the list of the objects made by these materials, you know, these materials. Like this you have to do the activity students. Next. Yeah, students, here we have to understand based on what properties the materials are classified, based on what properties, you know, how do we decide that uh, the material is used to make uh, that particular object? How do we decide? Okay, all of these things let us understand in this chapter. Okay, students. Um, On what basis the materials can be 
classified okay students based on what basis on what basis materials can be classified next and then how do we decide that the material is suitable to make a particular object how do we decide students if you think answers for these questions you will be able to understand the lesson better okay we use different materials to make different objects for different purposes okay so the properties of the materials are very important here to make objects okay what are the properties of different materials let us try to understand here if you want to make a window if you don't want someone to see you through the window what material do you use there the material like you know the you just think of what material what is the purpose there we have to understand what is the purpose the purpose is not to uh you know not to appear that we should not appear to others through the window then what material do you use there okay wood or plastic you know you cannot see through it right that's the main property so you cannot see through it means uh when do you see the things if you are able to see uh something through some other thing uh what uh, what what is the main reason to see all the things around you what is the factor that helping you to see all the things light is the main factor that helping us to see all the things around us see here i am able to see you through this glass so if this glass is made up of a plastic or wood something else can i be able to see you through it no i cannot um, be able to see you all through it okay so now i am able to see you through it because the light can pass through it okay the light which is there around me and the light which falls on the objects around me that reflects and that reflects through the glass and that falls in my eyes and that makes me to see you in clear way okay that makes me to see you all clearly yes or no yes so here some of the things can pass light through them some of the things cannot pass light through them based on this property you know the materials can be classified okay students and here there <coughs> there are some technical terms that i will tell you uh, what are the uh, materials called which can pass light through them and what are the materials called which cannot pass light through them okay right and some of the materials that that can pass only some part of the light through them but we cannot see the clear uh, objects through the materials which cannot pass complete light through them okay and what are the technical terms that i will give you now you please try to understand the things like you know i explained the properties like <clears throat> yeah the 
the the materials which can pass light through them are called transparent okay and the materials which cannot pass light through them opaque okay transparent opaque transparent materials the objects or sorry the materials which can pass light through them here opaque objects or opaque materials or the materials which cannot pass light through them and here i said some part light can be passed through the materials the materials are called trans lucent got it students remember the terms and the definitions of these terms students what are transparent what what are the transparent materials hmm? and what are translucent materials and what are opaque materials okay you want me to write the definition here students yeah transparent materials i am just writing only a short sentence here which can pass light through it is transparent material students which can pass light through it here which can pass only some part of light through it one which can pass only some part of light through it not complete light students that you have to remember i will give you the examples as well uh, next definition opaque here which cannot which cannot pass light through it which cannot pass light through it i'll give you the examples for these materials then you will be able to understand easy okay let me give you the examples transparent you know i am able to see you through the material what is this material glass so how can i see you through it because the light can pass through it okay the light falls on you that is reflected and that passes through the glass to my eye then i will be able to see you clearly so what kind of material is this what kind of material used to make this transparent okay and next translucent if you take a paper and you drop some oil on it the oil you know that spreads on the paper and that uh, makes you see some part of the things you know some not clearly but you can see only some 
mm, you know the uh, the idea you can get something is there out of that material something is there how can you understand you cannot see it clearly because only some part of the light can pass through it and makes you see only some part of the things out of it okay that, that kind of materials are called translucent materials oil paper okay if you keep oil paper across your eyes like this uh, the things that side uh, you cannot see through the you cannot see all the things through it clearly right so that is translucent material and next uh, opaque opaque in the sense you know if i keep my uh, hand uh, hand like this uh, i cannot see you through my hand because light cannot pass through my hand like this or if i keep a book like this i cannot see you through the book because the book cannot pass light through it so that you can understand that material is opaque material okay opaque material like this you have to take some of the examples and get better understanding of this type of material students okay next <coughs> here uh, give some examples i said right? i give some examples right uh, glass transparent glass oil paper here a book these are the example students okay you try to understand what are the types of materials based on their properties okay based on what we are grouping all the materials based on their properties okay students here states of materials or solids liquid and gaseous state solid state liquid state and gaseous state how do you say the material is solid and how do you say that material is liquid and a gas so here there you need to do some experiments you have to collect some materials see here uh, take some materials like sugar crystals sugar you take and some water you take and uh, you know uh, you 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 have to take these materials and uh, you have to drop them in a container in the container which uh, is in different shapes take different containers in different shapes okay uh, if the container uh, is in a cylindrical shape if you take water in that the water takes the shape of the cylindrical shape of that container okay and here if you take the same sugar crystals in the same container that sugar crystals also take the same shape of the container but how do you decide whether the sugar is a solid or liquid obviously you can say that the water is a liquid yes here there you may have a confusion if you take a single crystal of the sugar the shape of the sugar crystal is different comparing to a drop of water okay so drop of water many drops of water together makes a container full of water okay in the same way many sugar crystals together make sugar crystals all together called the t is sugar it's a material and if you take that in a container that also takes the same shape of that container but here sugar is considered as solid of course it takes the shape of container but you have to take a crystal as a sample unit of that sugar then that makes us to understand that is a solid material and if you take liquid like water if you take water in a container that water takes the shape of that container uh, on the whole you have to understand solids they do, don't do not take 
शेप ऑफ कंटेनर लिक्विड्स विच टेक शेप ऑफ container and gaseous gaseous form of the materials can you see some of the gases can you see the gas no air is mixture of gases you know you cannot see see what are the components of air you take oxygen carbon dioxide and nitrogen okay and water vapor water vapor i am just writing the formula here you remember i say the word and write the formula here right you just remember that and this is oxygen this is carbon dioxide this is nitrogen this is water vapor of course water formula is uh, same like this water vapor formula also same like this you know water and water vapor formula is same like this h2o uh, just remember that this is water vapor okay vapor okay students uh, you cannot see the gases right so there are different these are also called as materials which are in gaseous state okay so like this the materials are different in um, based on their state okay yeah <clears throat> uh, next uh, there is an activity that you have to understand uh, lighting a candle lighting a candle the activity makes you understand what how uh, candle gets lit without touching the fire to the wick uh, let me draw the diagram on the board first of all take a candle okay what is this candle what is this burning wick before you light it you can just see here there is a wick what is this wick this is wax okay this is burning match stick burning match stick here what is our activity the activity is about to understand this is the wax and something is present in the center of the wax what is that wick you know wick is nothing but it's a thread like material which is present in the center of the wax so actually this uh, gives light wax is not giving light the wick is giving light you know when you bring the burning match stick to the wick when you touch this burning match stick to this wick then that gets lighted okay and then after some time what you have to do after it is lighted huh here the light of the candle what is this light of the candle when you blow when you blow out this light that means when you put off when you blow air to this light candle light then what happens this light goes off then immediately what will you see when it goes off a smoke raising upward in a columns smoke column you can see here what is this smoke so actually what is that smoke of the smoke is of the burnt 
wick the smoke is of what burnt wick the candle is not becoming the smoke that is not becoming like vapor the burnt wick is becoming what smoke or vapor or that, that, that that's becoming smoke so as soon as this candle puts off if you bring the burning matchstick uh, to the smoke here what happens the fire is caught by the smoke and the candle gets light itself lit itself okay the candle gets lit itself when if you even if you don't touch this burning match stick to the wick even though the wick gets lit itself because of the smoke is catching the fire and making the wick burnt or making the wick lit okay students like this uh, you have to understand the smoke makes the light lit itself okay so here in this context what we can understand the smoke is a gaseous form of the material and when it gives light the wick is burnt and that gives light with the help of wax wax is becoming what liquid the wax is in solid state right actually the wax is in what state sorry solid state and wick is also in solid state you know wax when it is uh when the when the candle is lighting the solid wax becomes liquid the materials are changing their states you can understand then the wick is also in solid state when it is burnt it is directly changing into gas this is also in solid state of course uh wick is also in solid state when it is burnt it is changing into gas yes state okay uh, here this experiment makes us to understand the properties of different materials okay one state of the material can be changed into another state of the material you know this makes you understand that how materials are uh, changing their states from one state to another you know best example in your uh, uh third lesson you have studied the water is present in three states water is present in uh, solid state example ice and water is present in uh, liquid state when it is in water you know when it is in um, liquid state that water that is called as water and then when it is boiled that becomes into vapor that is gaseous state okay like that you have to understand students and next property of the materials is sinking and floating what sinking and floating based on the properties we have to uh, understand the materials what sinking and floating yeah how the sinking and floating is related to the materials see here here you have to collect different things and take a beaker a tub a tub full of water and collect all the different things things which can Uh, be made of different materials okay and what you have to do is drop them in water the water which you took in the tub or bucket or beaker or something okay here what you have to do is what are these water you have to drop one by one what drop the objects okay objects or things okay right objects or things and drop them and observe 
observe what you have to observe after you drop the objects in the water what you have to observe some of the objects go deep into the water some of the objects get uh, dip into the water go uh, to the bottom of the tub some of the object go down and settle at the bottom and some of the objects float on the water surface okay some of the objects remain on the surface of the water so the objects which sink are called sinking objects and some of the objects which remain on the water surface are called floating objects you know how the um how the objects you know some of the objects uh, sink in water and some of the objects float on water why is this happening because that depends upon the type of material the objects made okay based on the type of the material the objects so made names of the objects are right and you collect those objects and do at your home do that experiment at your home students okay uh, let me write the names of the objects on the board you take some of the objects names of some of the objects okay names of some objects and do the activity with the objects do this activity with these objects you know you have to drop them in water and observe some of them go deep into the water some of them remain on the surface of water if they go deep into the water you can say the objects are sinking and some objects remain on the water surface you know they are called as floating on the water okay and objects like you know tomato brinjal potato iron nail sponge wood stone leaf piece of chalk and paper you just make a paper crumple like this and drop it on the water see students if you drop all of these things in the water you will see some of the things will go deep into the water and some of the things will remain on the surface of water so this is because of the type of material some of the things go sink in water and some of the things float on water okay yeah students you have to after doing this activity you have to draw a table like this uh sinking and floating right what you have to do you have to draw a table like this okay rub it off draw it like this and classify all of these objects in the table that sinking objects here and floating objects here okay do it at home do it on your own and you have to classify all of these objects like this what are the sinking objects and what are the floating objects like this okay this is an activity that uh, you have to do on your own students okay next concept students here there you may have a doubt uh, <clears throat> the iron nail which is 
small in size that's sinking in water but the big ship which is made up of iron is not sinking in water what is the reason for that what is the reason for that do you know why it is not sinking in water because the sinking and floating property is also depending upon the shape of the objects okay of course the iron nail is a metal material the ship is also made up of a metal material but iron nail is sinking in water but the ship is not sinking in water why is that so because of the shape of the objects made of okay so here what you have to understand shape also main reason for sinking and floating okay like this you have to understand why some of the things are sinking in water why in other things are not sinking in water other property of the material that um, soluble and insoluble property of the materials soluble and insoluble property of material remember the term students remember these words what soluble and insoluble soluble and insoluble students you have to understand the meaning of these words first of all what is soluble and what is insoluble students if you take a glass and some water in the glass and take some uh, materials like salt sugar and oil okay take glass take some water in the glass okay and take same in other glass here what you have to do, what is this actually water then you have to take a spoon full of salt okay salt drop it in the water and sugar and what uh, sand some sand you take okay and observe what will you observe if you drop sugar in water if you drop sand in water if you drop salt in water after some time the salt gets disappear and sugar also gets disappeared in water where do they go students the salt is dissolved sugar is also dissolved okay sand is not dissolved in water students the sand dissolved in water not dissolved okay it's not dissolved in water it is dissolved in water what is dissolved salt sugar and what all the things you just take some examples which can dissolve in water 
and sand and other things you know oil also take oil will not dissolve in water oil will not dissolve you know sand and oil etc some of the things which dissolve in water are called soluble materials and some of the materials which cannot dissolve in water are called insoluble materials okay like this you have to classify the materials based on soluble and insoluble property students have you got it soluble and insoluble property also makes us to understand the nature of the materials okay some materials are soluble in water some materials are insoluble in water soluble means which can dissolve in water insoluble means which cannot dissolve in water so the definitions related to these terms that i explained now in this video uh, uh, these uh, definitions will be given in the description box students you please watch the video uh, completely and you just follow the description box you will get the definitions as well and also if you have any doubts related to this video and this concept you just please comment in the comment section i will definitely clear your doubts in the comment section students okay and of course you know the lesson is uh, completed almost all the lesson is completed only the basic things i have taught you you please go through the textbook and you will get clear cut information of the chapter okay students this is for this video students i hope you all understood this concept uh, this lesson and thank you for listening and thank you one and all